Shmello, everyone. Welcome to what I believe is episode 11 of our little playthrough. So, uh, just to give a heads up about what's going to come next. Um, this one and the following three episodes are only going to be like very edited gameplay with no sound. And that is because I simply have not had any time to record. So whenever I'm actually at my desk and uh, I have my uh, capture card, you know, w it's not bothering the USB ports like I can actually use it at the same time. Um, I just record uh, just just regular gameplay. So that's that's going to be the next few episodes. Just going to be commentary besides uh my my goal for this playthrough is completing the living decks so it kind of benefits me to do this i've actually made a lot of progress so far unfortunately progress i haven't been able to uh completely update so what you're going to be seeing is unfortunately outdated uh as of this recording cuz technically speaking these four episodes were completely edited let's say almost a week before this audio is being recorded <laughs> and um oh yeah and also sometimes i couldn't i couldn't record at all because like the only time i could play my switch was when it was undocked you know so basically no capture card uh like just handheld mode so yeah that also had to do with it so uh i, I kind of wanted to uh, to mention something because well as of this recording, my channel is small. My efforts have been very minor in trying to expand my channel, uh, mostly due to the crazy year that I chose to to really work on this. But I I do want to mention it because a friend of mine asked me um what, what, like well it came up in a conversation, and well I I record all this stuff I make all the dumb and lame jokes that I do and in hindsight I feel very mortified and embarrassed by it and this is the thing don't get me wrong it's not like I'm I regret doing it because that's not that's not how I operate what I mean is that like in the moment I'm just really enjoying it and then I realize later on like oh my god strangers are gonna watch this because well I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, um, a lot of my early content, since, to be perfectly honest, like, I'm pretty sure my vid some of my videos only have, like, 10 views, is because only a handful of my friends actually know about my channel, and they're the ones who are watching it, you know? And I guess that's what I record with in mind, that I'm recording this for my friends, and then I just remember like, oh god, everyone, the whole world is going to think I'm weird. Especially since one day I am, I I want to reveal who I am. I'm, I'm not saying that like, oh my god, it's it's like Batman taking off his cowl. Like, no. <laughs> it's just that, I don't know, one day Night Warden isn't just going to be some kind of obscure, obscure YouTube channel. It's going to be connected to a face. And I, I don't know. I I think I have to. It's not like I have to get over that. It's just that I find it funny that I still have those moments where I'm like, oh my god, I'm putting this out for the world to see, for the public. I don't know. It's like stage fright. It's uh, well, I guess I've always had that kind of stage fright. It's not like I'm scared of underperforming. It's just that I can't help but feel a little nervous. The justification I've always had is that if I feel nervous about something before doing it, it's probably because uh, I care about it. I, I care about it, so it's important to me at least at the moment. Um, I'm not sure what else to talk about. Oh yeah, um, I should I should make a little progress update about the game. Uh, I I tried just going after the the dens the the max raid dens and i ran into a little snafu uh well <laughs> my pokemon aren't high level they aren't you know high level enough to take on the five star dens 
I'm I'm not I'm not I don't remember which recording it is. I'm pretty sure it's the first one. So episode 11's. Uh, you're gonna see that every time I try to den, I basically just ho- did horrible in it. <laughs> um, and well, yeah, uh, probably because of my limited uh, options. Because after I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna cover my eyes. I only trained six Pokemon like fully well, um, and yeah, it, it went it went bad. So you're also going to notice in a while. I'm not sure if it happened yet in the recording or not, but I'm just gonna. There's gonna be a very long sequence of me just constantly defeating the same bear tick. It's in the route right before Winden, so like where the you know the. The Corviknight fly, flight uh, pad thing. There's a little camp and there's a bear tick that always spawns there. And yeah, I basically just constantly defeated that bear tick using Pyro Ball with, uh, with, um, what's his name? With, with, uh, well, with her name with Rapid Fire. And with that, I basically just accumulated EXP for all the team members. Um, right now, Actually, I don't think I I mind telling you because like th- this is, in all honesty, an excuse, so I can buy some time until I can record full episodes. Um, either way, it's a good excuse because I I don't think you guys wanted to see me doing this in lifetime. Also, in case you're wondering, like w- Night Warden, why is this so much? Uh, in case you're wondering, just. I wasn't playing all together like all that time um it's just that like for example I I don't want to give too many details but I was I played for 15 minutes straight let's say I, like I had a constant loop of just uh spam killing <laughs> bear ticks and then oh uh, my my grandmother need needed help so I left the room for another 15 minutes it's just that you guys don't experience that because I edit everything out. But, you know, it's still there. So, um, yeah, eventually I just, I just learned like, Hey, if I'm going to spend more than like, I don't know if I'm going to spend more than 10 minutes away, I should just stop the recording. But if I'm going to spend like, Oh, only five minutes away, I would just rather leave it. And that's because of the speed that the video needs to buffer in. Also, it kind of sucked when, like, I recorded, like, let's say total in that time because, like, I had to do something, I all that stuff. Uh, one video was, like, two two hours long. So it, had, it was, like, processing for, like, 20 minutes. And it, that really sucked. <laughs> uh, what else can I talk about? Because I did mark the time of the video so I know more or less when to stop and this seems like an eternity to me (laughs) um well this is honestly unscripted and I really hate that about myself that literally everything like I've even like class presentations back in back in grade school uh I made a well like a guide I guess I don't want to call it a script I made a guide and I never truly followed it. I always like riffed on it a little. And I, I don't know. I feel like I perform better uh, with a slight improv. More like I know what I want to talk about. But not how I want to talk about it. <laughs> and well here we are in this train wreck of what do I talk about next. Ooh ooh ooh. Um, today is actually. So you guys, you guys can actually know what day it is. Uh, today, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity came out. Um, I still have not opened it. I got it uh, earlier today. Um, but I still haven't opened it. I haven't played it. I played the demo, though. So if anyone wants to check that out. Uh, well, actually, that the demo is what brought up my little anxiety. Because I... Like, this is the thing. I, uh, I have these dry spells, I guess I should call it. And no, I don't mean dry spells. Well, I I am still pure, so there's I am in the eternal drought, I suppose. But that's not the kind of dry spell I mean. <laughs> um, I just mean that there I go 
through long times of like not checking up on my channel. So like I could like let's say like um I usually like every other day at least on my phone just say like okay how's the channel doing <laughs> you know just like it's like a five second glance it's like I don't actually s look through everything I just at a glance it did, did anything change and not even uh, every other day it's like every other two days you know like let's say Monday I check two days pass and then I check again uh, so Tuesday Wednesday so on Thursday I check again um, and then oh, for some reasons, like, because I, life just gets really busy. I can go like two weeks without any uploads, without any checking at all. Um, the only stuff that, that went up recently was the four episodes of the demo. And, um, uh, I believe I checked like a day and a half ago and that's when I saw it. And I'm, I, dude, I just like no 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 I checked it today in the morning also that's where I, I remembered it too I just like my heart just sank I'm like why are there three views <laughs> and like it, I know I keep talking about this it's just that I find it's very funny where the point of a YouTube video is to attract attention and to get viewers and for some reason my, my <laughs> it's like I'm not mentally prepared for that in some ways where like I'm kind of like what if, what if they judge me? Uh, who was it? It was one of my friends who put it. Like, wait, how did he? I think he said it. I'm like the most underconfident, overconfident person that he's ever met. Because like this is the thing when I'm very relaxed with people. Um, well, naturally I'm very overconfident. I I like for example, Harrower knows me very well. He's he's Honestly, I, 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 don't, I think I would call him my best friend. Like, I mean, in, in terms of from my opinion to his, like, I don't know if I'm his best friend, but I think he's my best friend, you know, uh, or at least one of my closest friends. Um, and I'm not sure his opinion about my confidence level, but like I, I would typically describe myself as pretty confident. It's just that. I have these like moments of like uh like nervousness like I constantly live in a state of nervousness to be honest but I can play it off cool I don't know how to describe that it's just that it's not nervousness that like paralyzes me it's just that I can't help but feel that it's like I guess it's like a buzzing excitement that I, I feel a slight panic towards you know it's like a it's, it's neither a blue nor a yellow. It's like a green situation. It's like, it's not holding me back. It's just that I can't ignore it. You get it? <laughs> so anyone else crazy like me? <laughs> um, uh, what else did I want to mention? Oh yeah, I also had really good luck because um, the living deck situation is doing very well. I'm basically missing all the shield exclusives um yeah pretty much all the shield exclusives and uh like the first evolutions for example and yeah harrower told me about it that i should really catch uh jangmoo and trapinch because basically since i wanted to speed up uh and beat the eighth gym that meant that uh trapinch and jangmoo basically will never show up again because i can only catch Hakamoo and uh I forgot the last one <laughs> I could basically only catch their their third evolutions mostly and maybe their second one I could still find it uh, with some like searching um and yeah I, I kind of had to catch um Hakamo's wait no Hakamo Jangmuo Hakamoo <laughs> <laughs> <A nema -nini. laughs> I had to catch the third evolution and also Flygon I had to catch third evolution because um, yeah uh, they were the only option and now I, it's, it's Pokemon like that where I just need to go and like uh, make an egg so for example like huh, what else do I need oh also I need some of the stone evolutions like for example 
I just got Shiftry. Uh, I think I need Roselia. So Rose Raid, I need I need to evolve. Oh, speaking of that, I need to catch a female Roselia. So like, I still a little incomplete. Uh, but I'm doing pretty well. Like I I I may oh also speaking of that, I also need to make uh the starter. I need to make three eggs so I can put put them in the box. Uh, now, yeah, I should probably bring that up because I don't think I included it in any other recordings. Probably not because I think, I think it happened after I finalized what clips I was going to use. Um, I played, uh, Crown Tundra and it, it's, it looks really cool. I didn't play much of it. I just got, um, I basically just played another profile on my sword, uh, uh, you know, in sword, just like my warden profile, and I, my intention was okay. I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to go grab a sobble and then put in Pokemon Bank and leave. But then when I got to the point where you could do that, I'm like, oh wait a second. <laughs> oh, sorry, I I paused because I thought for a second that the light just like turned off. <laughs> uh, I need to catch. I I, I now need. I could catch a Galarian, um, Slowpoke, and transfer it with it. And then I thought, wait a second, what if I play Isle of Armor and get a Cub Fu? And I did. Except the problem is I didn't realize how far I needed to go to get a Cub Fu. And I, like this is the thing, because you have to you have to like battle. Remember, like you you even have to do the Dynamax battle against the poison type trainer and like at that point I was remembering that and I thought oh there's no way I could do this and then I cheated <laughs> and no I didn't transfer the Sobble and then like make it level 80 no I basically remembered where to collect a ton of di of the Diglets, and I got the Alolan Marowak which is what like level 30 or level like 30 40 and yeah, that's what I used to defeat everything, and I got the Cub Fu. And like in the meantime, I also got a uh, the Alolan Vulpix, uh, Alolan Sandshrew, Diglett, Meowth. So like I transferred all of that. Um. Oh well, this is the problem. I was gonna transfer that, and then my curiosity was still peaked, and I thought. Hey, what if I just play a little itty bit of Crown Tundra? And yeah, that itty little bit expanded because I found out Crown Tundra is pretty cool. Um, I don't want to spoil it for anyone because I, I well, I kind of mentioned it to him in the morning to Harrower, but basically, uh, so next time I'll probably introduce it when I record it, just a quick little reference to it. But I managed to catch Rayquaza, Mewtwo, Suicune, Solgaleo, and Mesprit. Uh, and I just mentioned that because I did use them to catch like a one or two hard captures in uh, in the max raid battles. It's not in any of the recordings though. I'm pretty sure in every single recording or most or the majority of the recordings, I do show who like who I threw out. To battle against the den Pokemon, at least I hope I did because I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I tried doing that. So, uh, or at least at some point I started doing that. <laughs> like you're gonna notice how I edit it. So, um, like I I didn't I had so much footage that I literally had to cut out like whole sections. Um, also I'm I'm half certain that I might have switched up. Uh, like two of the clips so like uh keep an eye out because i i i don't want to look through it it was like so many recordings while i was editing so i i can't but i'm pretty sure that you might notice it's like uh the little screen that pops up when it shows how much exp you collect that it might say like let's say rapid fire is level 54 and in the next clip uh it's 52 you get, like it for some reason it's lower I feel I I feel it in my bones that that might happen. Uh and yeah. So, 
I had those. They only helped out in like two or three dens. Um, it was just because I wanted to catch something. Like try it with them. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, that I have, I've made some really good progress. Now comes a section of just breeding with Ditto. Just to get the first evolutions. Um, like for example, like I have Galissapod. Now I just need a Wimpod. Because, you know, Wimpod, like at this point... It's, it's kind of hard to catch because I don't you can't even false swipe it because it just runs away so you get my point I might catch a Wimpod I might do that or did I catch a Wimpod I don't really remember anyway um, considering that I'm close to the end of this recording uh, well I still have like four ish minutes five ish minutes no like four minutes I'm just gonna do a bunch of Nacho Nacho Libre uh, quotes, you know. Oh God, I really hope that you guys can't pick up the the background audio, but let's see what what can I uh, reference? Like, uh, where are the chips? The they were stolen. Did you not tell them that they were the Lord's chips? <laughs> I have had the I have had diarrhea since Easter's. <laughs> this is gonna sound really weird to anyone who hasn't watched this movie, but I absolutely I am obsessed with that movie. I, I it's like a tradition for me to watch it every few months. <laughs> um, what else? So you're telling me if I go up there and eat from these eggs. My moves will be the best in the world. <laughs> Are you summoning your eagle powers? What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> Get the corn out of my face. Yes, it is true. I am Nacho, the luchador. Nacho! Oh god, I love that movie. <laughs> Encarnacion. 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 Ramses number one. He knows the secrets of desire. <laughs> The funniest thing about that movie is that, like, my my dad is not. I don't want to use hate. Don't use hate in a heavy sense. It's like he hate he, he in a joking way. He hates the fact that that movie takes place in Oaxaca, which is where he's from. <laughs> so he's he's like, oh god, you know, <laughs> yeah. So he's he's from the state of Oaxaca. So, um, you know, just it's just it's it's. I find that hilarious. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Janjo, sometimes when you're an adult, you just like to wear stretchy pants. Just for fun. <laughs> don't worry, Nacho, I won't turn. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> uh, by the way, watch Nacho Libre. It's, it's amazing. I'm thinking about uh, updating a little skit I made. Uh, it's basically Nacho Libre singing, you never had a friend like me. Yeah, I really don't know where my mind went that day. <laughs> the, uh, also, look look forward to a few uh, animations. An animatics, I guess. It's more like goofs that I made. And also, you have to know about this. about You have to know this about me. I have like three on the back burner. And I record those all on the same day. So that's why they're so awful. <laughs> um, and all right, I, I think I'm going to wrap it up now because I don't want to go overboard. Uh, good news is that I don't think I had to edit this because it's it should be like 2452 and I'm like at 30. So see you guys later in the next one. It's still more just silent gameplay. So catch you around, guys. I'm your friendly neighborhood night warden. Don't say goodbye. Say shmalo. I'll catch you guys in the next one.